Hi guys and welcome. I'm Philip English from RoboPhil.com and on this video we're doing an interview with Haroni Ogawa from NSK, the robot lightbot. We managed to speak to Enori at the iRobux 2015 robot exhibition in Tokyo, Japan. NSK Limited, headquarters in Tokyo, Japan, has created a guided robot with indoor navigation and obstacle avoidance called Lightbot. Lightbot is still in the experimental stage, but NSK has been working jointly with the Nanagawa Rehabilitation Center over the past six months under conditions close to those of actual use. This latest version has improved guidance, safety and usability. Uh, hi guys, uh, Philip English. Uh, we're now with uh, NSK uh, and we're having a look at their technology. I've uh, got a gentleman here, so uh, if you can introduce yourself and uh, tell me a little bit about the company. Uh, my name is Hironori Ogawa and NSK is the bearing me mechanical part company. Okay. And now we develop the guidance robot for visually impaired and elderly people. Right. Uh, so what type of examples? So where would you buy one of these or where would you use one of these? Would it, would it be in hospitals? And mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, at the patient uh, reach to the hospitals yeah. and then the hospital staff set the robot to the destination. Right, okay. So can it be programmed centrally? So you have some a map of the hospital, is that, is, is that how it works? Oh, uh, we have to make a map before using the robot. Right. Like how do you make the map? Do you, do you uh, make the map with the robot or with, a, or with another tool? Uh, we use the robot to make a map Okay. And then we tune the maps for good, good quality. Okay. So, 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 do you build the map with the laser sensors? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What about if there's different floors? Mm -hmm. So, can the robot go uh, up a lift to a different floor? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. It can, the yeah. robot can. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, have you sold lots of these into hospitals, or is it still in a research? Oh. Uh, this robot is uh, planned to lease in 2016, next year. 2016? Okay, and you're going for a leasing model. Okay, no, it's very smart. I mean, I mean, why, um, it, it's a very smart robot. So, it, is there going to be a, a version 2, a version 3, or 4? Yes, uh, uh, sorry, we, we don't have a next version of the plans, okay. but I, I, I think we have to make the newer uh, one, yeah, improve one, yeah. the uh, s specification or okay. features. Yeah. Around. I mean, I suppose there's a whole ho whole host of uses. So, is it only for uh, for ad ad adults, or can you do children as well? Uh, this robot is only for the adult, adult yeah. especially elderly people. It's for elderly people. Yeah. Okay, so maybe in care homes and stuff like that. Uh, I think it can. Uh, they they can use the this robot. They, they can use yeah. it in care. Okay. Um, so what else does NSK do? You were saying that they sell other products. So is that is, is that is the sort of thing they sell? I mean, like, what does that do? Oh, there is the, some sensors and uh, s sensors okay. uh, built from the robot technologies. Our right. technologies. Okay, yeah. so it's, it's a sensor sort of, sort of company. Okay, okay. So thanks very much for your, for your time. It's very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the interview, and I want to say a big thank you to Erinori from NSK for his time and the interview. If you want to learn more about NSK, I've put in the links below for your review. Now, if you like this interview and want to see even more robot news, reviews, and tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. If you have any questions or want to see a product view of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.